Hello everyone, this is Mr. Wee Maniac here for a very quick episode of Maniacal Town. Let's visit Maniacal Town, yeah. That was really weird. Uh, anyways, so right now guys, I'm going to be showing you guys some small updates that I made to the town. But no big updates, because I want to get to uh, something that I've also, something uh, that I've added across the town. Not in necessarily in the town, but across the town. And you guys will understand that once I get to it. Okay, first off. Uh, so things that haven't been updated are the nether house, my own house, and the store. Uh, what have been updated is this battle arena, which we have a concession stand now, which contains bread. Uh, mainly because I feel like the, uh, the audience would be, like, kind of poor. Uh, so, bread is, like, their richest thing that they get, can get. Uh, really quickly, uh, I, I guess I will go inside because I do have some signs hanging up. Um... As you guys know, yesterday's video of Snapshot said not go over well, like at all. It was really frustrating. Uh, I don't understand why it was so frustrating, but it was. Uh, the fact that you can't even run a single player file without having it as a server. And honestly, that was really frustrating. Um, I honestly checked. I checked all the, f all the uh, files. I don't know if... Uh, I mean, I guess so. I g maybe there was a option saying that... You could uh, choose whether it is a server, uh, uh, single player or not. But even if so, it's just it was just annoying. Even well, even with like these, oh, even with the current files, they just turned server automatically. It's it's frustrating, that's for sure. All right. Anyways, as you guys can see here, I have an enchanting room. I made uh, the snapshot room an enchanting room because it was just really annoying. And I just hugged this side right here. The week 18 snapshot. Villagers, wood tools, and shit. Because I really think it was just shit that happened. I mean, it was, like I said, it was a cool idea. It just did not work for me. And uh, it was just frustrating. Uh, Alright, anyways. I'm having these lag spikes. I've been having them all day. So uh, just give me some time to... Just relax. Anyways, uh, this will be our next uh, room. I made jungle wood because of the new update. I have cocoa beads now fall from jungle trees, so uh, I could have used brown wool. That's actually good. That would have been a good idea. Use brown wool because you use cocoa beads to uh, make uh, a room. Uh, not make a room. Use uh, cocoa beads to make a brown wool. Why did I say room? I don't know. Maybe I was thinking about the brown wool in the snapshot room. Anyways, also you guys might have noticed that it's on the second floor. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting building um, building stuff across now. And you guys might have also noticed that I do have a little escape route than having to walk all the way back to the front. So here's the escape route. And I'm also um, we're now going to be working the second floor of the snapshot central. And as it's getting dark now, let us venture forth to the castle. Um, now, as you guys know, I've been having some trouble with the toilets. The toilets actually lead somewhere. Um, but what has been officially the side uh, help with that, actually, is the sign here. Uh, so that will block off the water moving here. Oh, God, that was a bad last fight. Okay. And if you come up here, you will see that I've made a route out. You don't have to necessarily go back into the castle in order to escape. Uh, okay. So there's like an escape route, and then there's just a bomb shelter. All right. Now, as you guys may notice, I've been I hide, hide the bomb shelter. Uh, you guys know that I hide the shel bomb shelter with grass, but a garden. Well, that makes it even less noticeable. He made a small little rose garden like this. Yes, I started it back up again with five freaking iron golems. I don't know how I'm keep on getting these, all these iron golems. One, two, three. Wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a sixth iron golem. Happy birthday, my town. You just gave birth to a freak. <sighs> okay. Anyways, I did the same to the toilet that's in the prison that leads to an escape route. Route. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh. So I placed the sign there. Uh, and if you guys come in here, I, I crash register here. That's like the only update I made to the restaurant. And over here, you guys can see I have a w actually working trash can based off of, um, based off of Chimney Swift Eleven's design. 
Uh, let's say I wanted to get rid of some bookshelves. Like, from all that the chancing room building. I would just press D, and it'll disappear. So thank you, Chimney Swift, for that idea. Now, well, I mean, yeah, that blueprint almost. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so, uh, last thing I want to mention. Now, uh, I, in order to get a Silk Touch, uh, uh, pickaxe, which I was trying to get in order to show you guys a Week 17 snapshot, uh, update, uh, I made, like, nine or so, uh, pickaxes. Uh, diamond pickaxes, and they're all enchanted. They're all pretty good enchantments, but they're not silk touch, so I couldn't use them. But I didn't really want to throw them away. I don't know. I just didn't really want to put them back into my inventory, have them be gone forever. So this is what I did. I've hid all nine pickaxes all across town. Your guy's job is to download the map and find them for yourself. Now, sometime in the coming months, I might have a video series of Purple Penguin. Generation JG, uh, Ratchet Doggy, and C Tyler Prower, if they want to. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they really want to be going searching for dot nine pickaxes. That's only totally up to them. But if they do agree to it, they'll be in this uh, in a Maniacal Town server that I make, um, and they'll be searching for all nine pickaxes. Uh, they are able. They're going to be able to destroy anything. Uh, I I'll explain it when it, once it arrives. But as soon as I upload that video, the contest is done. Uh, if you find it and you tell me you find it, and you give me complete and utter evidence where you found it, where you find each and every single pickaxe, I will award you by guest starting in one of my videos. Uh, now. I'm not completely sure how I'm going to do it. Uh, it depends on what you can play. Uh, if it's a on if it's a TV game that I, have, I guess I have to go back to my camera. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but if you guys have Minecraft, I'll definitely do like some sort of series with you. I'll do a whole series with you. And hey, we can even become good friends. I I'm, I'm totally open to making friends in this uh, let's play career. That's for sure. Anyways, uh, but until. Uh, uh, but you guys have until I start uploading the uh, Diamond Pickaxe series if the multiplayer people want to do it. Uh, because uh, you guys will then be easily find these Diamond Pickaxes. So, you guys have the ability to find it. Now, here's the catch. You must first, before you start looking, need to find the nine clues that are hidden in one location. Uh, you have no hint to where this location is, so I'm going to give it to you now. I'm gonna, This is going to be actually completely... So just, so just give me a break. Okay, ready? Where a penguin settles, and where a ma maniac settles in between them. Alright, well, I guess that's... Uh, it's pretty easy to figure that out. Um, and it's, pre it's pretty open. Like, if you look to like some sort of hole or like it, or some sort of random block on the ground you might be able to fi find it i mean it's pretty it, this is a pretty easy hint guys you guys should just be able to find it like that you guys shouldn't be that stupid at least i'd hope not <laughs> um now if you find it then you guys will start looking for them once you find online pickaxes you're not done yet you need to go to the obsidian uh like there's like this obsidian thing that that is there, uh, with signs in it, listed to the final clue, and the final clue will lead you to to the final location at which you will earn your reward. Okay, your reward will be to get started in a video or just bragging rights for the hell of it, uh, or and also there we will you guys will find twenty six diamond blocks. Which, if you turn yourself on survival mode, let's see, 26 times 9, if you craft them, hmm, hold on, I actually want, I, I want to get that, uh, calculation in, so just give me a second, uh, do I have a calculator, uh, oh, there you go, okay, so if I do 26 times 9, and I press equal sign, that's 230 four diamonds that's very useful 
Uh, I might have a download to a survival version of this map, uh, but I kind of don't want to do that because in order to access some areas, you might need uh, some... Uh, actually, no. Anything that you get, you get from the store. Like, uh, honestly, I'll, I'll show you guys right now. If you go into the store right now, you guys see that there's tools here, there's arms and weapons, and there you go. There's all the weapons and stuff. There's weapons, and then you have tools. That have all the tools that you really need. So, honestly, I don't think you guys are gonna have a multiple problem. Oh, and by the way, if you go into the tools, these do not count as diamond pickaxes. They have to be enchanted. If they're enchanted. It works. By the way, they're gonna be they're gonna be surrounded by regular diamond pickaxes. Don't take those out. You, because I I think that will be if you guys want to do a multiplayer version of that. But it's only for one to four players. Uh. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not really uh that much to it. Uh, what would I, what would I do with you? I honestly, I might just have you guest star in an episode of Maniacal Town. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to see. So uh, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This is the Mr. Wee Maniac here. For Let's play. Let's visit. I keep on saying let's play. Uh, let's visit Maniacal Town. See you guys next time. Bye.